Wow, we won a lot of matches. I don't remember this because I've been in a coma for four days. We won a lot of matches before we got into this. All right, guys. Are we in? We're in November. And we're at Villa. And then we have Salzburg away and Liverpool at home. So this is first team. Okay, we're dropping into the save. We keep talking about stuff, but we are dropping into the save. I'm going to get our first match out of the way here. All right, love the bench that we've got available for this game. Am I going Marky Rodriguez? We go... uh. Marcelo, uh, yeah, I am going Marky Rodriguez. I don't. I also don't think a lot of people understand what somebody like Ronaldo is actually doing. Like the amount of time and thought and effort that goes into maintaining that kind of physical performance over that period of time. I, I think a lot of people, including myself, probably can't even grasp the amount of dedication that takes to accomplish something like that. All right, let's do it. Well, it's his job. What are you, Roy? Like, are you Roy Keane? What was happening? Hey, can I have that ball, please? No? All right. Might need to consider some drastic tactical adjustments, brother. Uh, perhaps a little more offensive. Oh, I thought Gongsteb was going to get caught out. At least he's back in goal just in time to not save that. That's really disappointing defending because we had plenty of bodies there. Why did he not go to goal on that uh, the initial pass off the set piece? Why did he take the touch backward? What was he doing? So, Raj, thank you so much for the prime. Thank you for supporting the stream at Lavinio. Thank you for the 23 months. Thank you. Goal! Wasn't even looking. Quattro Cinco. I'm going to go C plus, Lavinio. You've had better work. How much does a chimney cost? Nothing, it's on the house. Wow, that was... Oh, it stayed in. Let's go, 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 go. Vamos a la playa to the beach. Vamos. Way to really slow that one down. Oh, boy. Oh, my! He was off. I'm really glad that didn't go in. I would have lost my mind. Yeah, I just love, you know, I love about this, the offensive explosion we had when we really started to go for the match, you know? I really love how we opened the game up and started to create a lot. I thought that was really impressive. Uh, I was really happy with our team and the way we did that. Um, yeah, that, you know, break out the microscope and you can see the XG increase. That sucked. I mean, we didn't deserve anything out of that match. I'm just disappointed in the team that we weren't able to find anything else. Disappointed in the players on the field, reassessing the players on the field for not being able to find anything. Uh, okay, so we need to get our new team in. How do we want to play against Salzburg? Give me Doig. Doig and Ebisele and Hato is off. And I, yeah, I don't have another center back, as far as I understand. Gonzalo Inacio can totally play both these matches. He'll be fine. Kazukanda, McIntosh, Mujahid, Kaya. Thank you. Goodness. Okay, now I'm feeling... Uh, now, okay, we're good. It's a Champions League night in Salzburg. It's Tottenham Hotspur off a disappointing draw against Aston Villa. And they are trying to play their way into the top eight of the Champions League and get a bye to the last 16, as they did last season, before suffering a heartbreaking defeat in the semi-final to eventual champion Real Madrid on a 97th minute Vinicius penalty. The new UCL format, what country's teams will be looking forward to the coming season to make it into the league stage? I, I don't really know what that question means. That's a nice goal by Rosales. That is a really nice goal by Rosales. Like, what countries will get into the group stage for the first time? I don't know. I know that more countries will get teams directly into the group stage for the first... Uh, not Maybe not for the first time, but again. Or now. Nice finish. Classy goal. Rosales redemption arc? Honestly. 
Now that he's not the relied upon starter, there is a bit of a redemption arc there for him. Special teams, special plays, special players. I still don't really know who that dude is. Hard as geezer was feeling himself. As he should. He scored it as he should. He's a world-class striker. It's a penalty at Salzburg. Give me a goal, Kaya. Give me a goal, Mujahid Kaya. Four wins from four to start our Champions League journey. That sounds like a pretty good way to go about our business. Hey, Big Polly! Get you some, Big Polly! Get you some! Paul did something. Sound the alarm. Paul McIntosh did something. That's not good. That felt very not good. Uh, well, I was literally just about to hang a substitution to try to rest players, but we're going to put that off for a second. Oh, Kaya. Kieran Tall from the parking lot. All right, we're getting him off. Mark Rodriguez, you're stepping in. Back line. He's feeling aggressive. He's feeling a little dangerous out there. That's what we like to see. I want John Wick on my back line right now. Don't get a red after I said that, please. Jesus wept! What a goal by Kieran Tal! It's in the very top drawer. It's behind the cookies that mom doesn't want you to find. What a goal that is! It bounces off the ground once. There's no saving that from Kieran Tal. No, I, I had literally just said, like, oh, I think Kaya's been better than Tal recently. I'll start Kaya in our league match with Liverpool. And it's like, nope, yeet. Yeet that ball right into the top of the net, actually. Oh, that's okay. I mean, we'll take it. Anyways, yeah, I, I, I love, I always loved Ange. I loved Ange when he was coaching the Australian national team. Never thought he'd be a Premier League manager, but he's still good, you know. He's just a good coach. He communicates really well with the players and the media. He creates a great atmosphere. Uh, as long as he can tactically get his team up to a level where they're able to win stuff, then they're going to be great. I think my Liverpool fans are crying. I'm a Man United fan, and people forget how their biggest club in the world, not to mention we probably had XG Liverpool that game. That's bait. No, I mean, Liverpool got FM, so I, I realize we didn't talk about that. You know, we spent, we talked about hardest geezer in my last couple of days, but. I uh, yeah, Liverpool got FM'd, obviously. I get the Ten Hag's building a team and building a belief, and I think he's done a good job managing the team. But then he comes out and says stuff like, We're already playing the way we want to play, and I'm like, there's no way that's true. Or he said I think what he said was you can already see the kind of style that we want to play with. And I'm like, No, you can't. <laughs> You're like surviving. And then I mean you they've played I saw a stat that looked unbelievable. Right? They've played Liverpool three times and given up ninety shots. All right, so what do we have? We have Gongstead, we've got Rico, Jarrell Hato, Inacio, Vandevin, Rejevic is not that guy. We're going to go with Guerra and Rodriguez. Bit more defensively sound. We are playing Liverpool. Endrick, Seca, Chikichi, Kaya. Everybody but the glass cannon. Mickey Vandevin is match sharp and ready to play. I am super ready to play. I'm ready to get stuck into this match, as it were. As it be, as it is, Kieran Tall is going to be on the bench after his amazing goal in the last match. We got Konda, McIntosh, Rejevich, Enrique, Coyote, Rosales, and Morris. Oh, yeah. So we're a uh, nice, cool three points ahead of Liverpool right now. I know we haven't played them yet. They're actually, I can't believe they're starting Pape Matarsar against me. Would you love to see Big Mark? I'd love to see Big Mark as a Segundo Volante on attack. That dude can literally any position, any role in the spine of the team, he could play. 
including apparently wide target man on the right for whatever reason. Let's go. I thought Kaya was going to get to that second ball. I knew this one wasn't going to go in, but I thought Kaya was going to get to the second ball when it went across. Rico Lewis gets booked a lot. Like we go get stuck in. He's the guy that gets the yellows. I mean, he's smart, so he usually doesn't escalate. But oh my goodness, he might have been on. I don't, I don't think he is. Doing well getting our shots away. Keep doing that and we will be fine. I just want to get three guys in there that hopefully can give us a little bit more than what we've gotten so far. Really, also, Kieran Tall, just a better finisher. Better, you know, goal-scoring dude. That might have been unfair to Shikichi, but it was not unfair to Mujahid Kaya. He'd been to... Oh, Indrik, Yes. Oh, Indrik, still Indrik, still Indrik! Oh! oh, what a goal from Indrik! Robin Wood, thank you for the four years. Oh, wait, three years and 10 months, I love math. 46 months, Robin. I, uh... I don't know if I can thank you enough at this point, supporting the stream like that. I, I really appreciate it. Oh, Tall, it's two! It's Kieran Tall! Come on, dude. Come on, dude! All right, Mac. There's that pace, Mac. Look in the middle. I mean, surely we don't mess this up. Unbelievable. I, I FM, please. Please. Please, football manager, I am begging you. I mean, there's no way, right? Like, there's literally no... I mean, this is a three-on-one. It's now a three-on-zero. And, and the touch that my world-class player takes is slow and wide while the other two players stop their runs. Like, be so serious right now. Be so serious. Football manager's like, hey, you want to see all the things that annoy you all at the same time? I'll gladly show them all to you. Hey, 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 watch it. Watch it. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Rejevich, Hendrick. Absolutely unbelievable, dude. Absolutely unbelievable game. I can't even be mad, man. I can't, I can't, how could you? I can't even be mad. I mean, like, I, I, I don't know what else we, we could have done in this game. I, I mean, seriously, we, we were so, we're so dominant. Hopefully we can still win. Shut up the directness. <laughs> Chat, you better stop it right now. You better stop it right now and look at this match because you will never see a cleaner FMing in your entire life. Like, I knew what we were doing. Like, obviously, we sent it forward, and we're going to leave ourselves a little more open. I'm not talking about, like, the fact that it's insane that they scored. Uh, but we were still, obviously, dominant in that position. But, like, you will never see, statistically, a cleaner football. Like, you will never see a cleaner FMing in your entire life. Should, I mean, like, literally flawless. Three shots, three goals complete dominance in every phase of the game from us you know blown massive opportunities from us flawless fming literally perfect
we're miles better than that Liverpool team. It's not even funny. Uh, you know, uh, so I'm, I'm not worried at all, but goodness gracious. Transfer embargo? <sighs> Oh, this is a tease. This is a tease. This is a tease. This is a tease. It's not going to happen. We've done this before. Tomorrow, Daniel's going to call me and he's going to be like, Hi, Zealand. And I'm going to be like, What do you want, Daniel? He's going to be like, Zealand. I said no. And I'm going to be like, Daniel, I, I know that. Hey, when's the, uh, when, when's that cheeky little eclipse? Oh, yeah, Canelio dropped his lack of playing time concern. We're making progress here. Making really significant problem. Oh, we, goodness, he, I don't think he's scored for me yet. Marcelo Enrique has scored for Brazil. That's weird. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Oh, we have Arsenal in the Champions League right after. God, I wasn't really paying attention. Well, that's our hardest Champions League match of the frickin' uh, year. Dude, we've only dropped points in three Premier League matches, and two of them were on this stream. That sucks. Oh, and then I play Arsenal in the Prem away. Wow, spicy. Okay. Yeah, it lasts just long enough for you to worry. You see the whole thing about... Um, we'll get back to the Turkish thing later, but do you see the whole thing about how zoo animals react to that stuff? Like, apparently, you know, I was reading this article. It was like, I, I don't know what... It was the giraffes in some major zoo, and they all, like, huddled in the corner, and when the sun came back out, they all started running around and celebrating. Like, the like it's not just the humans way back in the day. It would be, like, the animals, too. Like, are we, are we about to get dinosaured? Like, <laughs> alrighty. Oh. Oh, let's go. Episode A. Yes. Kazukanda. Kazukanda, it's Kaya! It's Mutai Kaya in Stamford Bridge! All right, Kanda, Kanda, go! Go, Kazu! Go, go, Kazu! Oh my god, Kazu! Oh, Kazu! Gera, it's Cornelio! Ah! Sure, thank you for the three months. Well, let's go, yes! Oh, it was offside? So, yeah, we rotated well. This is Champions League. Uh, you know, big Champions League night against Arsenal. We have had an electric start. So have they. We've played four matches. We have won uh, three of them on the road. We have won away against Red Star Salzburg and AC Milan. We have won at home against Atletico Madrid. And now we have our second home Champions League match against Arsenal. The rest of our Champions League matches are Galatasaray at home, Sociedad at home, and Napoli away. Again, if you finish in the top eight, you get the free buy to the round of 16. We're looking at the top two teams in the Champions League. Oh, let's go, lads. It's the Champions League. It's Tottenham. It's Arsenal. It's what you play football to experience. It is the North London derby. Tottenham making it all the way to the semi-finals last time. It's Bukayo Sako. It's an early goal for Arsenal. Oh, nice step by Rico Lewis. That's how we want to control the match there. Javi Guerra with that underlap on Rico that we love. That's tough for us to do anything with, but Vandeven's there to keep the pressure on. That's a pin. I mean, it looked pretty similar to the last tackle, but I'll take a penalty. <sighs> Immediate response. Immediate response. Sustained pressure, pinching in on both wings. No outlet for them. Let's go! Scores back in full throat. Seca. It's Rodrigo! Oh, what a 
what a response from Tottenham! Mark Rodriguez completes a quick fire turnaround. For the love of all that is good and holy. Wow. Go down one nothing. take a 2-1 lead, get a straight red. Okay. Hammer the praise. Let's get this to halftime, right? That's the first level we got to get to. We're playing a team that's won the Premier League five consecutive years. A team that got us by a point for the Premier League title last season. Our hated rival. And good header. Way to battle. Okay. Don't need two, just need one. Good. Oh, uh, what the hell is that, dude? We'll just see how, uh, see how we get on, see how they start this. Kieran Tall got a yellow, that's fine. Appreciate him hustling. We're doing a nice job with them so far. Uh, uh, oh, their goalkeeper got hurt. Oh, they have Guglielmo Vicario as the uh, backup. This would be sick. This is the side of the field where we would be able to attack from. Oh, yes. We got solid numbers here for a decent little attack. Not if we play it back like that, though. We're not really building attacks here. We are uh, We are just kind of going. All right, Marcelo Enrique. Actually, really good job there by Marcelo Enrique. Then, oh my goodness, Bellarmino Seco! What a moment! for Bellamino Seca, the best midfielder in the world. Right in front of you. Oh, he missed him. Oh, but Vandevin's there. Great little pinch by Vandevin. Great pass by Kieran Tell. Kieran Tall. Oh, it's Edric! Oh, and it's four! A night they will not soon forget in North London in the Champions League. Let's go. Seca. Guerra. He's gone for it! Oh! Come on! The land where the impossible has happened. They are running Arsenal off the pitch with one less man. I, you know, I know Vicario was the backup. I didn't really think about it while all the goals were going in. Goal! It's six. Sometimes things happen that seem impossible until they happen. This is Tottenham's performance today. That is, and I'm being serious here, the most incredible turnaround performance I may have ever had on Football Manager. I don't think I've ever scored more than two goals down a man. We just scored four in the second half of a Champions League game against arguably the best team in the world at this point. I'm going to work a little bit more rest in as we get into this wicked December. Bristol City, how you doing? This is going to be a rotated team because then we've got, I believe, Manchester United after. Or no, our, we have our... Oh, God. Uh, we're going to Arsenal for the revenge tour. Okay, we're playing 19th place Bristol City. We are at home. It's our first match in a while against a team that's not at least good. So we'll see how we come out early. Definitely going to put the expectation on the boys here. All right, KO day. What do we got? McIntosh. Ooh, Canelio. Good. Take it. Oh, Regevic. Thank you, finally. Somebody's just fumbled it in. It's Jenny's with Edgevich. 
you don't see him do that a lot. I'll just say it that way. Oh, Kaya, there's a good pass. Mac, Mac, still Mac. Beautifully done. Belchior Canelio makes it 2-0. Uh, but then, you know, he had a very reasonable response. He was like, look, I don't know if I'm going to do any other big challenge. He was like, if I did do another big challenge, I, I would have to really want it, you know. Oh, whoa! Yo, Miguel Lajuz! The young Argentine with a scorching first career goal for Tottenham. That's a silky bit of ball control there for him as well. You know, you might, uh, we might be selling Belki or Canelio in the offseason. Or Belshi or Canelia. Oh, look at Lazuz. Look at Lazuz. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I'll give it to him. I'll give him the penalty. Wow. And thank you so much for supporting the stream. Okay, I'm going to look it up. I think it's time that we look it up. Spanish to English. Lucius. Lucius. Okay. Miguel Lucius of Tottenham Hotspur with a brace. All right, well, we just rotated in one, which is what you hope you can do at home against the 19th team in the league. And now we've got Arsenal away to kick off December. So, goodness me, look at us. Look at us chilling on top of the Premier League. You know, it is what it is. It is what it be. Still, you know, still early, but good place to be. Yo, my goodness, 5-1. Southampton's not even that good, dude. God, right at the start of December, Chigichi. Oh, well, and both these guys? Okay, well, I mean, I know you had an empty injury report. Oh, we've lifted our transfer embargo. I guess that's a good thing, but the takeover talks with a... A tycoon investor have fallen through for a second time. All right. Well, this is a uh, kind of an important match. Yes, it is Arsenal who punked us for the league title by a point last season. We just flattened six, two in the champions league, despite being down a man in one of the wildest games I've ever been a part of on football manager, to be entirely honest. That was pretty insane. Uh, and now we're taking them on in the league. Why am I playing as bottle and botsper? <laughs> one funny Two. Uh, we've definitely earned that name. And three, uh, they gave me a job. Arsenal didn't even give me an interview. So, <sighs> on the road, too. We've not been great on the road. This would be huge. Oh, yes. Oh, that, again, this is what your best player is supposed to freaking do, dude. This is what your best player is supposed to freaking do. Bellarmino Seca. Wait. Oh, wait. What is this? Somebody said all these streamers got that version. How are your highlights always goals? My highlights are usually block shots or hitting the wood. You get the premium version. Yes, clearly. I knew a guy who knew a guy. <clears throat> oh, oh, Gara. Calma. Calma. This is what we do. They just look worse than us, which is not normal. I think that's part like Sokka's not out there. Martinelli's not out there. Evan Ferguson might be hurt. I don't think I saw Evan Ferguson in either match that I played. They might just be having a hell of a year with injuries or something. Oh, McIntosh. Goal! Not that I care. <laughs> yes. Where can I find the hardest geezers playlist? It is just called... Uh, I mean, it's called on road comma stomping 94 hours. I downloaded it because I, you know, I do a lot of running now. So I figured, I, you know, the guy's like the best runner ever. So like in terms of long distance or just running for a long. Oh, there you go. Bellarmino Seca with a brace in the North London Derby. Wow.
Oh, what a pass by Regevich. Are you kidding me? Right at the end of the match, no reason for this filth. Side foot. What in the Modric was that? Like a push pass with the side of his foot just popped it through the middle. Oh, my. Pepsi Goner, he, uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> so now it's us in City unless Bour you know, Bournemouth's got to keep the, keep it going. Oh, Mark Rodriguez reached his yellow card limit. He's now suspended in both competitions. <laughs> Did Guardiola get sacked? Did that happen? Did we, uh, there, yes, we got him fired. Wait, really? Four days ago? Yeah. Yeah, we got him fired. They fired Pep right after the game, dude. From the start of the save, it was Mikel Arteta. Then it was Pep for two years and 50 days. He won the league twice. And he won an FA Community Shield as well. But they were they losing 4-0 at home to Tottenham was the final straw. And I mean, now they're sitting in ninth. They're literally ninth in the table. All of the teams around them have a match in hand. Their goal difference is minus two. It's a miserable... If they've won the league five straight years, dude, that is miserable.